All right, this game apparently crashes if you uh, change audio devices. I unplugged a USB 3.5 to USB converter and boop, didn't lose. I just had to watch that cutscene again. It's not a big deal, but uh, games sure are fragile. It's not even, that's not like a complaint to this game specifically. It's just kind of, games just kind of really are fragile. Um, how do I? Field notes, sending. Oh no, those are. Oh, cute! It, it gives you little notes if, in case you forgot, like ghost spore. Whoa! What? Where? Where are ghost spores from? Don't seem so cheery. Can't tell. Oh, it has the plot. Yeah, I really like it when games do this. Um, they have the little bits of plot, so you can see where you were. Um. But uh, none of this has that note. The Ferrosco Basin. Back to White Forge. No, I want to go to that note. What do you mean? Energy. Oh, they're energy moles. Where's the mole? Energy mole. They're so cute. Is it maybe an item in my inventory? Lopez is an oh, it's a map. Begin at the solitary oak. Travel west till you hit woods. Search for me there. Okay. Solitary oak. Is that a thing? Hold on, maps. White Forge Continent. I don't know what the solitary oak business is about. Maybe, maybe, ah, oh, stop it. Dream, nah, it's just dream dream again. Mm, maybe it becomes an official priority after, uh, after we go back to White Forge. I wanna find out what this is about, though. Oh, who are you? Say, Aleph, right? It's me, Travel Bob. Aw, oh, good old Travel Bob. He's always on his travels. I've been running around, running into a lot of doom and gloom about some big old monster creatures. A lot of who he thought at first. Too much television programming rotting everybody's brains, I said to myself. Well, turns out the rumors are true, so I owned my own two eyes. These peepers haven't been silly by a cyber screen in over 15 years. Should be alright though, Aleph. I believe we can all get along with nature. We just pay our dues. Well, stay safe out there. I can see... This Mr. Scarecrow Man. Mr. Scarecrow Man isn't what I need. Ooh. That's pretty, but scary. I guess I can't go here yet. Mm. Maybe it really does want me to go to White Forge first. <gasps> oh, dang. Man, those are some late game bosses if I've ever seen any. Solitary oak. Some nice little mushrooms, but I don't see a solitary oak. Uh oh, I think the Midgar Zalem might be around here. <laughs> I don't even know how they got Midgar Zalem. It's Midgar Zormer is the the thing, but you know, that's what happens when people translate just from uh, you know phonetic sounds and back to English and don't like even consider, you know, that it might not natively be a Japanese word. Southeast White Forge. That's... What's the solitary oak beeswax? You got any solitary oaks here, Pharaoh? No. Yeah, I don't think there's any... I don't... I guess we're not finding it yet. I do want to check this out, though. What is this? Oh! It's my... It's Mom and Pops! I should really go back to the city before it, oh, okay. It is a but thou must go to the city situation. Drink and be merry at the city. What, no, there we go. Buttons are a little weird. 
the A button is the, the reject button, and the, the B button... I guess it's Nintendo style, come to think of it. Confirm on the right, cancel down. Mayor Biggs, I, I don't know if I can keep doing this. We're supposed to be a team, but Paxton's dead. I haven't heard from Lopez at all. Everything's just falling apart. Things are very dark, Aleph, and I know you're very discouraged. But first, hear me out. There's something I need to tell you about the Geomes. What? what? Do you know what they are? Why they're attacking? Let's go meet Dr. Woodsick in the history wing. There's a lot to go over. Okay. My predecessor uh, my predecessors believes that Oz was the first technologically advanced civilization that ever had existed in the world. Through architectural study, we traced our lineage all the way back to primitive nomadic roots. The record seemed clear. He looks like Trace from, um, from Axiom Verge, but without the goatee. Wait, does Trace have a... No, he just has, like, he has mutton chops, which those are. Yeah. As a young researcher, I took part in an expedition to explore the outer continents to the east. We were driven by a search for knowledge, a desire to see things that no one had seen before, and, of course, to chart a path. I almost got Swedish for a second there. For colonization in the West that white for civilization continued to expand at an incredible rate that we were beginning to witness. Imagine our surprise when we found the remains of an entire city, almost appearing to rival white forge in sheer size and technological advancement. Oh man, that, that's one of the things I love in, um, like in Final Fantasy VIII. There's so much cool stuff to find out on the world map, and it's not really strictly. I mean, it has story relevance, but you're, like, uh, not necessarily, you're not driven to find it. You find a Lunar Tear, or a Lunar Cry crater. Uh, you find two, actually. Um, you find a Centra City, like an abandoned civilization. Uh, you find some really cool stuff. Uh, uh, world Final Fantasy VIII is probably my, my favorite world map ever. Um, Final Fantasy series in general has lots of great ones. Uh, nine and uh, seven are great, too. I really wanted to get back into Final Fantasy IX just to explore the map, actually. Just to explore stuff. Um, not even necessarily for story and gameplay stuff. But uh, it takes so long to get back in. Maybe I should get the... I think it's on PC with speed up, which is pretty important. Um, but yeah. Oh, great game. If, if you've never played an art... Well, the thing about Final Fantasy IX is it's such a fantastic game. Um, and you probably would enjoy it as just as as its own game but it's such a perfect callback and um sort of like honor towards the original final fantasy games like you should at least play um what's the latest game with the crystal sort of thing i guess it's five um but it really if you play any of those very early medieval final fantasies there's so much that's referenced in nine and I didn't get it first as a kid, because I did play 9. My first Final Fantasy, I think, was 8. And then I played 7, and then I played 9, I think. Um, and I had a disc. I got the Final Fantasy Chronicles, too. I didn't get very far in any of the SNES ones. I mean, it was on PlayStation, but they were the ports of the SNES ones. Um, I did beat Chrono Trigger, though. Great game. Anyway, not that that's news to anybody, but uh, White Forge's sheer size and technological advancement. After much study, we were able to roughly translate the language used by this inf ancient civilization from contextual clues. We call this civilization Caravold. So, of course, there's no way for sure to know how it was pronounced at the time. On close examination, we found that this entire civilization was dramatically cut short by an extraordinary drought. A drought that stuck the entire world, including our western continent, according to Carver Doldish records. The Carver Doldish people had done some exploration and development here and there. When the drought came, they found it equally as dry as their own home. The implications of this worldwide drought were staggering. Oh, it's freaking Garudon! Oh, I told you, Team Magma, you freaking... I can't believe you guys. This is ridiculous. You killed the planet again. I told you guys. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, I actually... I think I like Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire more than a lot of people did. Um, but at the same time, like... 
the the new stuff in ORAS was great, but they just kind of kept too much of the old stuff. And there's like this cutscene where the bad guy he does the thing that he was supposed to do, and like the sun is shining, and it's like, yeah, we're gonna make the we're gonna raise the temperature and make the land bigger. He's like, yeah, we're raising the temperature, and then he gets a phone call. He's like, oh no, the temperature is raising too much. He's like, oh no, how did, how could this happen? It's like, that's literally what you set out to do, bro. It is literally your entire purpose in life. It's like, ugh. It's so silly. The Delta episode is great, though. I don't think most people actually even played it, though. But it's way better than... Well, it's really short, but it's better than the main story. And it's a shame how little Wally is in that game. Anybody who doesn't play RPGs is going to be totally lost this episode, apparently. I'm so sidetracked. Anyway... Caravold was not merely ancient like our ancestors, but existed long before an almost entirely separate world. How do you know this thing? How do you know these things? Before the great drought essentially wiped out the world clean. Our entire civilization was built up as in the world that we set. Everything started over us from nothing. So we're a bad end Final Fantasy civilization. See, Final Fantasy keeps being relevant. You can't blame me. Still more shocking was the archaeological records we found and translated in Caravold. Around the time of the drought, they had experienced a realization quite parallel to our own. Another civilization, still older yet, had been consumed completely by a great flood. We can't be certain, but there seems to be a cycle. Drought, flood, drought, flood. It's freaking Kaigor and Garudon! I told you! I told you! Oh, goddamn. Where's Rayaquaza? Sleeping on the goddamn job, Rayaquaza. I'm so sick of your crap. Every time the civilization, um, every time the civilization began to reach a state of technological, oh, it's the Reapers! This is, I'm sorry, this is reference city today. I guess none of this is, like, super unique, and I mean, even the games that reference it, you know, you know, tropes are tropes, they're not necessarily bad, they're not, you know, using a trope doesn't mean you've made a bad thing. It doesn't mean you're unoriginal. Like, there's only so many stories. Like, even if you completely set out to make your own totally original story, never read any piece of work, literally ever, you knew how to read and write, and you had a basic imagination, you just set out to make your own thing, it's entirely possible you would make, you know, a hero's journey, maybe a damsel in distress. You know, that things do just happen. I just like talking about Final Fantasy and Pokemon, though. Oh, the freaking... Look at those things. They do look more like RPG final bosses than Pokemon, but but I can believe it. I guess that's Kaigor on the left there, that's Garudon in the middle, and Rayquaza on the right. The end seems to be signaled by the appearance of three huge creatures, the Geomes. And now a lot of people, like, when they say, like, oh, this is a ripoff of X, and, you know, they see a similarity to another game in a game, it's like, oh, I bet that they ripped that off <laughs> on original. <laughs> but I'm just like, yeah, it's like the thing. I like that thing. That thing was cool. Like, I like things that feel like other things, you know? I, I really need to stay focused and read this goddamn cutscene. I'm sorry if anybody only wants the story or whatever. But I mean... Well, if you only want the story, I mean... Get the game. We don't know how these creatures would cause these worldwide catastrophes. But we do know the Caravold fought these creatures. But only defeated two of the three. Oh, Rayquaza. Then they were overcome, taken by drought. Oh no, they killed Rayquaza, throwing out the balance. And then Garudon. Frickin' it's pri it's because Primal Garudon is overpowered. Even in Uberus, he's freaking ridiculous. It's like Well, no. Mew 2 in Pokemon 1 was the single most overpowered Pokemon ever. But uh Primal Garudon comes reasonably close-ish. Well, not. The thing is Gen 1 was just so completely unbalanced. And they didn't really have any other Pokemon remotely close to it. Like, Primal Grudon is, in my opinion, way too good. But at the same time, there's, there's a reasonable set of other Pokemon that are, you know, reasonably also fantastic. If you do not believe that our only hope is to destroy all of the Geomes before they bring about the next Great Flood, which will wipe out civilization as we know it. This is unbelievable. The Geomes are here to bring the Apocalypse. Aleph, now you know why it's so important you continue. You, why you must not give up. Cassidy and Paxton lay down their lives for this cause. 
We must avenge their deaths and save all of mankind. Wait, so Paxton Cassidy knew about this? Well, not exactly. We didn't say anything because we weren't yet certain because this was happening. That there's much we don't know about the geoms. But this clear science is a it's clear to us now that the signs are here. We have, of course, hoped that the previous civilization was wrong, but the signs are here. All the same, we must prevail. This is the only option we have. I guess Mayor seems a little less scumbag now at this point. So wait, what do we do? Continue the work, Aleph. Drive off the geomes from our planet. Plants. We'll need all the energy we can store to power the central cannons in Whiteforge. If our plants pump in energy simultaneously, the laser should have enough power to destroy the geomes. It's our only hope. If you drive off the geomes from the powder plants, I can predict they will eventually attack White Forge. Here we'll make our final stand and destroy them once for all. Oh man, they're weapons. I'm sorry. There's too many references. I my brain is thinking. I gotta stop that. I really don't like it when my brain thinks. So we just need to continue on. For Cassidy, for Paxson, for us all. I okay, I can do it. I must do it. I know it! I know it's right to put my faith in you, Aleph. You've shouldered more of this burden than anyone could bear. But you always have to risen to the challenge. I'm very proud of you, Alice. Thanks, Mayor Biggs. That's enough talking for now. You need your rest. Speaking of which, maybe one step towers late today in the commercial district. I have something I want to show you. Oh, okay. Oh, good. The sound has gone out of my ear holes. It's the lobby of the White House. Uh... Okay, where are we going again? Oh, wait. Windsweep Towers. Come in here, Alf. Take a look around. Granite countertops. <gasps> granite countertops. Why are granite countertops so much of a thing? I mean, it's nice, but why always granite? Why not, like, some other frickin' rock? I, I don't get it. State-of-the-art appliances? Hot tub? It's so beautiful. Is this your home? Ha! Good one, Alf. I live in a place ten times larger than this. This is your home! I picked it out for you while you were away! My home? After everything you've done for the city, it's the least we can do. W wow, thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. You've already sent the movers to take care of your belongings. You can move in tonight! You deserve that, Alf. Can't say no to that. I, I guess... I guess we're going home? It's my new apartment. Wait, I guess I can't. I guess I need to go old home first. Uh, no, no trains. No trains. Okay, it was a joke, but whatever. No, no, no math. No math. My peoples, we do not like the math. I guess let's say goodbye to our old home. Oh no, the, we won't live next to, um, to a Yara. Oh hey, Alf, what's up? Uh, let's have some din dins. Not much, just resting now. Wanna have dinner? Sure, before we go in. Have you met Humus? Humus, oh, yeah, we met the other day at Abex Plaza. Something of a commotion. People are upset because that hummus of a vagrant panhandle or something. Yeah, well, I invented hummus to tell me, stay with me for the time being. Haha. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but I don't think they have a place to crash, and, uh... No, I get it. Hummus seems safe, at least. It's good not to be alone. I consider not telling Yara about how the... <laughs> geomes are here to destroy the world as we know it, but... I kind of knew that Yara wouldn't freak out. So it's the end of the world, huh? Yes, yeah, it's, it's fine. I guess that doesn't seem too outlandish anymore, does it? No, it's not. You just need to lure the geos once the weapons are happening. We can protect humanity. We can preserve our way of life. We just need Juon's cannon, and uh, we'll be fine. It's not like a plucky team of, like, teenagers would be able to defeat them instead of our giant cannon. That would be silly. I have to do this. I have to fight the geos for Paxton, for Cassidy. Cassidy never knew about this. Uh, I know. I just mean Cassidy would have wanted to fought to save. Don't tell me what Cassidy would have done. I know you shouldn't have mentioned Cassidy. Why would you do that? Of course Cassidy would have saved the world if she could have. I don't get why you're mad at me. Why did you bring up freaking dead girlfriend, bro? Sis, bro? Why would you do this? Fine. You know, I'm under a lot of pressure here. I thought you of all people would... How do you not know why she's pissed off, you dumbass? I'm gonna go. Good. I think we just broke up. We weren't even quite a thing yet, but we still broke up. Huh? Where am I? Aw, oh, did you take drugs again? I wonder about those drugs, Aleph. 
Oh, she's just not used to her new apartment. I get it. Man, granite countertops. Why would you deliberately have stools like that, though? Like, that's not comfortable. Like, get something with a back. This is my apartment. I guess I fell asleep on the couch. Ugh, I slept terribly last night. Can't really use a coffee. This is coffee brewing <laughs> activated. It's a smart home. Huh? What was it? what? Seriously? What was going on with Yara last night? Man? Maybe I should have brought a Cassidy, but she must see the importance of what I'm doing. I just wanted to feel like she had my back, but apparently it's too much to ask. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I have to get going. Okay, well, time to get on with things. Got two more GMs to fight off. It's the most important thing right now. What about the thing? The note! It's my new apartment. We gotta go to the note! What is the solitary oak business? What's the solitary oak crap? I have to find out. Solitary oak. <gasps> that's the oak, that's the oak, that's the oak. This must be the solitary oak. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I would have remembered the solitary oak if it hadn't been so long between videos. Ugh. Confirm button order is real weird. West until you hit woods. South. Okay, west woods, south rock. I head west. Until you hit woods, south until you hit rock. Lopez is. No, 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 I know. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, pretty. Lopez. Lopez, what's going on? What's what's the deal? What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. Paxton, is that you? <gasps> Aleph, what are you doing here? Aw, oh, you are gonna get frisky! Aw. Oh. I guess the lesson is do not have a romantic interest if you are in this job, because you will frickin' die. Yeah, your little- your lover is pretty dead. I can't believe it. Paxson. Why is this happening, Aleph? Why? It's also wrong! I know, Lopez. I'm sorry. I'm working through it with Biggs and Wadstick, though. We'll get to the bottom of it. Oh, you see, Aleph, they don't care about us. They're just using them to do their dirty work. All the way things get worse and worse. I mean, we're saving the world. I mean, if that's dirty work, whatever. You need to get away, too! I don't have a choice. Maybe they don't care about me. I know Woodsnick do sure doesn't. When it comes to faking the geomes, we're all in this together. I have to keep at it. <sighs> Aleph, I think I need some time alone. Hmm. Alright, I kind of want to cut the video, but I guess we need to visit whatever place. I guess she's not going, so... We're just going to, uh, oh, accidentally equipped that, huh? Ugh. All right, I have to go to that f awesome forest thing. I, I need to fight that thing. I travel, Bob. Still traveling, huh? That's why they call you Travel Bob. Mad Gal Woods. Pretty though. I can see a don I can see Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong rolling through this place. This looks a lot like a Don Donkey Kong Country level. That is that is a high compliment. Am I ready to start this mission? Hell yeah! Oh, it's Dragalgia. Heck yeah, boy! But why is a sea dragon in the air? Oh, whatever. Unsurprisingly, the geom is already here. I'll take it out. That's what I'm counting on, Aleph! <laughs> Getting more curt as things go on. Hey there, save point. Every tree has a story. Most of them are the same story because they're in the same area, but you know, whatevs. I really love the locations. They, the, another reason, what is this? Is this a, a freaking drill dough? Ow! 
Do not touch the drill those, they hurt. <laughs> like I said, good way to introduce a character to the thing. Just let them bump into something dangerous in like, you know, a safe place where they won't die or whatever. Huh. I wonder what this book is doing here. Whoa! A shimmering form emerges from the pages of the book. Uh, what? Was that hummus? What the f It's a beetle person! What, what, what are you doing here, Beetle Pearson? Oh, Mr. Beetle Man. Mr. Beetle Man. Oh, no. Mr. Beetle Man. Alright, let's go, Mr. Beetle Man. I'm gonna be your friend, Mr. Beetle Man. Alright, we got... Is this... Okay. We got some Zelda puzzles going on. I'm down with that. I'd be down with that. Aw, oh, don't you hesitate with me. Oh, alright. What? What do you mean? Huh. Well, that's interesting. What are you doing in there? What do you mean? Oh, I, I understand. Okay. It's showing me which way to face to put use my shield. Okay, I didn't- I actually did not understand at all. Huh? Wait. Wait, does standing with my shield? Is that what I need to do? Okay, don't don't move and block to the th direction. Okay. Ah, oh, no. No. No, come on, bro. Ah, oh, frick. Okay. We're safe. We're safe. What? Oh, come on. No, not in... Oh, no! Come on! Okay. Difficulty is happening, then. Alright. No. no. Oh, frickin'! I think this one's just always right, but you can't move. What? <sighs> okay, you really do need the guide. Okay, well, why isn't there a save point after this? Okay. Should probably be a save point there. Okay. Okay. Oh, fucking! Come on! Why is it the same color? I could at least survive a hit that way if it weren't. I'm facing. Does it. Is it seriously your factual facing, not the way your shield is facing? Okay, it's the way you are facing, not the shield. That is crazy. Oh, it's not the shield at all. It's just moving right that's the problem, okay. Okay, so it's just turn back. 
That's the whole thing, is just don't look at it. Okay. Embarrassed it took me that long to figure that out. Alright. I don't need your help anymore, Ladybug. The student has become the master. Alright, All right, what's this? then. Save point. Alright. Into the woods we go. Oh, so cool. It's giving me Final Fantasy vibes again. It's reminding me of that big place out in, like, built into an ocean, or it, out on this island in Final Fantasy IX. There's this big secret town. It's so cool. Good evening, dear. Alf, was it? We received word that you would be arriving to deal with the geome creature. You must have had a very long journey. Sometimes these woods could play tricks on you, but I hope my, that my books helped guide your way. You have very good books, my friend. M Wesley Crusher. Myron. It's the White Force Technician. Nods. <laughs> he just nodded from like 50 feet away and we, we acknowledged that. I wish my husband or I knew more about the power plant. It's really sort of a coincidence that we become the main local contacts. You must find out that there's a public library in the middle of nowhere. After all, libraries much people to enjoy. These would be a much bigger community than these people in this woods, but the population shift towards more industrialized environments. Perhaps we should have moved along with them at this point. It feels so much like this library is a part of the woods. I don't know if it could be transplanted. We have an interlibrary loan program, and the building itself is quite frequented by those with the love of books, the penchant for adventure. But I can't blame you if you think we should be doing more with what should we have. <laughs> they have an elevator instead of a staircase. What's up, buddy? Uh, hello. What's up, Myron? That's a freaking big statue! Holy crap, this is a fancy! This library is intense! Oh, there's a thing. What do you mean? Oh, here we go. The Nymph Prince, a story about a wood nymph's transformation at the hands of a cruel sun god and how the peasant Kauhim helped her find her way home. Okay. Bloop. Uh oh. How do I get to those middle ones? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's not a floor. Okay. This is like an impractical library I've got here, my friends. Summers and winter, the story of three people's lives as they find their way to the big city. Yeah, it's quiet. Nice calm music, what a nice place. Oh hey, power plant time. Alright, well, as always, we'll split here for another little platforming section. <laughs> 